ओके सो वन ऑफ द कॉलम इन द पेशेंट हिस्ट्री शीट विच इज ऑफन मिस्ड और ऑफन नॉट फेल्ड और ऑफन हाफ फेल्ड इज द पेशेंट्स मेडिकेशन पास्ट मेडिकेशन और करंट मेडिकेशन हिस्ट्री शीट we take care of the past medical history like patient is diabetic hypertensive ckd that all things are there but on what medication the patient is that history is often overlooked or often missed or the patient is not in a position we don't inquire from the attendants like that so i'll try to explain with the case scenario why it is important and when uh, at times when it can give you clues and it can help you out in solving a case so this was a middle aged uh, female who presented with shortness of breath for 3 4 days and when she presented to us uh, we found that she was having atrial fibrillation with fast ventricular rate and she was hemodynamically stable so on previous medical history we found that she was having it was a known case of uh, rheumatoid heart disease and with mitral stenosis and there was a mitral valve replacement which was done and she was a known case of atrial fibrillation and she was on antiarrhythmic medications for that matter amiodarone she was take, take, taking and anticoagulant she was also taking we checked the electrolytes which i asked the patient whether there is a, any change in the or she has missed uh, any amiodarone tablets or something like that she denied that she has taken all the medications on time we did an echo also uh, there was no fever no source of infection and um, echo also was same as before we could not find out that what have propagated or what have triggered this uh, atrial fibrillation anyway the my next morning the patient was fine but then Uh, she told that and we uh, that she is also having hypothyroid also and it, it, this was not mentioned in the previous record and this was i think this was a, a recent diagnosis over a past of period of 6 to 9 months which was not mentioned and she also forgot that so uh, she was taking uh, uh, thyroxine tablets uh, which she was taking and we uh, mentioned in, in the records that and we started that also then we inquired that uh, whether you have uh, missed uh, the thyroxine tablets or something like that so she said she said no again then we asked is there any change in the thyroxine tablets or is change in any medication which she was taking then she t- told that uh, that she used to take thyroxine in some strength of 50 or 62.5 something like that and now for the last one week she has changed to 100 mic- uh, microgram based on is Uh, thyroid report previously so the thyroxine tablets were increased for that matter and one of the causes of atrial fibrillation when you list down other than cardiac issues like valvular heart disease and ischemic heart disease or cad or cardiac ulcer other than this one of the co- systemic causes is thyrotoxicosis means increase in the level of thyroxine uh, for that matter so we send the thyroid levels and then we found that the thyro uh, tsh was very very low and thyroid levels were high so what we find uh, figured out that because of the change in the thyroxine tablets she got overcorrected her hypothyroidism and which could have triggered this uh, atrial fibrillation and then we adjusted the dose of thyroxine as per the endocrinologist endocrinologist for that matter so what i i'm trying to make you understand that any uh, medic medication history is very very important so you need to figure out that w- what was the medication the patient was taking is there any change in the current medication which has been done recently or is there an any addition of a new drug which has been done uh, recently or is there uh, the deletion in the uh, uh, drug which has been done recently for example some patients come with a cardiac failure and we found to have that the dose of diuretic has decreased some patient come with hypoglycemia means diabetic patients come with hypoglycemia and on inquiry we find that there is a change in the, in the diabetic medications they were adjusted accordingly because sugars were high so medication were adjusted now land up in hypoglycemia so the point is whenever you take an history always try to figure out always try to inquire what was the patient's current medications what are the changes in this medication any addition or deletions and this can help you in case to case basis in critical care so that's very important and hope it helps and do read more about it thank you